I just wanted to uh, hop on the mic again to explain um, kind of a breakthrough in my own trading that I discovered today um, and over the past week um, that has been really uh, cool. And I actually think that uh, my trading will definitely improve after realizing this uh, important lesson. So I just wanted to share it with everyone. Um, and I'm just going to ramble a little bit about psychological stuff and um, just getting the right mindset and really trusting yourself. So I'll go over, go over all those points um, in this video today. So let's just get right into it. Um, so I'm going to use a couple different examples from this week, um, starting with Amazon from today, um, since it's the most relevant example or recent example, I should say. Um, <clears throat> I've been eyeing this 3550 level for a while. Um, you can see that uh, it happened yesterday and we couldn't hold value above it. We immediately kind of sold off at the end of the day, which means that uh, it's still valid for today. And that's exactly what happened. I just completely was just not watching this name. And the reason why I wasn't watching this name is because I was looking at NQ, which was not on my pre-market plan. And that's an important thing to note. Now, it is okay to uh, do sort of or improvise plans and plays as the market goes on, but I'm going to get into that just in just a moment about what my thoughts are on that and the criteria for that. So um, <clears throat> just to reiterate, I was not looking at Amazon because I was distracted by um, a noise in the chat. I was distracted by noise. I saw that, okay, maybe Amazon just isn't, you know, it's not, it's not looking good. Markets are weak. Um, and I was just reading a whole bunch of stuff, you know, getting into my own head that, uh, you know, all right, maybe I'm, maybe I was wrong. And what do you know, you know, a couple minutes later or an hour later, Amazon spikes up. And if I was watching it, um, I could have easily gotten in and, you know, banked on this play, but I didn't. And instead I tried finding another play because I was kind of having FOMO and I was like, why aren't any of my setups hitting? Um, and that's where patience comes in. You have to trust your setups. You have to. Um, if you don't have confidence in, in your setups, you're, you're not going to make it. Uh, it's as easy as that, simple as that. Um, and stick to your pre-market plans first. So that's the first thing. I made like eight different plans today. None of them hit except one, which was TTD. Completely missed it because I was looking at another stock, which is totally fine. Can't catch it all. Um, and then I was kind of like, all right, well, I'm not taking any trades. I was kind of itching for the trades. <clears throat> And what I did was I kind of forced that trade on uh, NQ in my pre previous video. Um, and the uh, kind of theory behind that is, well, I missed 35.50. Okay, um, I did because I was looking at NQ and it was a loser, whereas I should have been looking at Amazon because I had a plan on it. I had everything intact. I had a lot of trust in the setup. And what do you know? It worked out. So, okay, I missed the setup. All right, what else? Where can I, uh, and my target was 35.80. You can see that clearly I had it already written up. My previous videos, I didn't just plop it on my screen, uh, and it was you know it hit perfectly yesterday, it rejected. So I was like, all right, let's you know run it run it back again, do the same plan. Now, where is my second entry? Uh, second possible entry was this trend line, and that was already a predetermined uh, entry. You can see that we're kind of experiencing this downtrend, so I could have gotten long there, and it did my favorite technique, which was the rocket ship technique, kind of like an RBNR similar. Um, right above this trend line, which is beautiful. I could have gotten a nice scalp here and Amazon moves extremely well. So this was definitely a couple, you know, a couple dollars on the contracts, uh, for sure. And let's say, all right, now what if I didn't make, or what if I missed this as well? Well, has it hit my target yet? Has Amazon hit my target of 3580? No, it has not. So does that mean I'm just going to completely ignore it? Ignore the name because I missed 3550 or because I missed this trend line? No. What I'm trying to say is you can still find an entry as long as price hasn't hit your target yet because you have to trust your setups that it will hit your target um, accordingly with proper confirmation, that is, of course. So the next thing I was like, all right, now we're making kind of like this flag wedge pattern. All I need is VVM above this kind of little high or above 3570 because it's a key psychological number. We were kind of rejecting a little bit. And boom, what do you know? If you look at it on a one minute time frame, I, again, I don't really use one minute time frames, but for scalping purposes, definitely trying to incorporate it a little bit more. But you can see on this uh, tw uh, 1244, 1245 candle, we begin to break out of this little wedge, this little flag pattern and increase in volume. And uh, you know, if you have the mindset of uh, get in, uh, you know, go fast or get out, um, this would have, you know, you would have hit your target immediately. So this was a uh, awesome kind of little tip to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, share. And uh, the reason why I like this is because uh, Amazon was showing relative strength compared to the market. Um, now that's why I should have been looking at Amazon because it had relative strength compared to uh, NQ. Just as a reminder, in my previous video, I went over that 
I took this trade at 1040 um, and completely missed uh, you know the earlier I was I was just wasn't I was completely disregarding Amazon I saw this you know at 1040 and we were just kind of playing games and then I just left because I was like all right uh, Amazon's not doing much but I was wrong and uh, yeah so just because price hasn't uh, just because price sort of broke through your level doesn't mean you can't find another entry um, to hit your target. So remember, you don't have to be the first one to get in to catch all of it. You just have to catch some of it, right? You don't need to catch this 3550 to 3580 move to be, you know, to be profitable or consistently profitable. You can still be profitable just catching this move right here, or just catching this move, a 10 point move here, and the contracts, uh, you know, were like a five to ten dollar move. It's 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 crazy. Um, so you don't have to catch all of it. You just need to catch some of it, right? Um, and I just want to exemplify that with AMD yesterday. And that is why uh, my improv improvisation worked. So I missed this 139.5 entry. I did. Um, could have been a nice scalp here and it didn't, you know, there was zero follow through. But what did I say? Price never hit my target of um, sort of, I think it was, I, think, I believe it was all time high that it made yesterday. Yeah, so it hit all time high yesterday, but didn't hit my initial target, which was uh, 141.22 and then above, which was 142, 145. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna shed light on that a little bit. So I said, all right, we need, I was, my target was 142.09, because uh, that was all time high intraday. Um, and I said, all right, I couldn't, um, I couldn't break, so I didn't get in at 139.5, where's the next best entry? So I said, all right, maybe this daily RBNR, missed this entry again as well, missed it, missed all of this, and you know, I got in, at a better entry. So I said, all right, we've got five minute demand forming here. We have relative strength on AMD. We have relative strength. That is important. We were holding VWAP here. And so that was a valid entry to get long. We were above, we we're holding value above this key level and price hit my target. And that is why this trade worked out. Whereas NQ on today's trade, my improvisation did not work. Um, and when I say that, I mean like creating plans intraday because the market was just weak. Why would I do that? If the market's weak, why would I try and uh, sort of go long here. Sure, I could have been right. This could have worked out, but was this high quality? Probably not. I mean, I had a bunch of confirmations, but look at this. You can see that we are selling off. And <clears throat> what would you rather play? Would you rather guess on a, on a name like this or go to uh, Amazon that is clearly showing relative strength? And the psychological part of me said, well, I already missed 3550. What's the point of looking at it? And then I thought to myself, well, hold on. 3580 didn't hit. My target didn't hit yet, so what's stopping me from, uh, you know, taking this thing long until 3580? Nothing, and that's you know the realization. Just because you miss your first entry doesn't mean you have to give up, and I think that's a you know a huge issue. If it's or that everyone that I see a lot in the chat, <coughs> excuse me, just because you couldn't get in or oh man I missed my entry, I missed my fill. What's what's stopping you from you know taking finding another entry to hit your target? Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. A, B, and B. I'll go over that real quick. Uh, from yesterday's example, I missed this initial. Uh, if we just go to, uh, uh, if we just go to on, on a one minute time frame, I'm it gapped over my level, so I wanted to see it act as support. So you could have gotten long anywhere in here. Let's say I missed this uh, this first entry though, this first price target. Okay, what's stopping me to say, all right, we hit my first price target, but my second price target hasn't hit yet. Buyers are still present here. This lower wick indicates that we're holding value above VWAP. We broke through this other uh, resistance key level that I had marked out as my first target. What's stopping me from taking this long to my next target? And that was where I tripped up. I said, oh, what what is stopping me? Nothing, right? So it's important to still have confidence in your setups and trust it because that is you know, a key portion of this trading. Just because we, again, I'm, I'm just trying to drill this into your guys' heads, just because we, you know, our level was gapped up over or, you know, we already missed our entry doesn't mean you're still out of the trade as long as the target's um, heart hasn't been hit and provides uh, confirmation. Um, so that was something very important that I learned. Um, psychologically, it's super important. Oh, I'll just go over one more uh, example from Amazon. Um, you know, sometimes those second entries d don't all work. Um, the next entry or next target I had was 3,600 on uh, Amazon. Um, it was a 15 minute RBNR that just didn't work out and that's okay. You know, you get in, you get out quick, um, depending on you know, your risk tolerance. We're still holding value here, so depending on your stop loss, uh, you could still be in this trade. Uh, you could have a, you know, a candle close below 3580, I don't know. It depends on you know, your kind of 
your kind of situation. Um, but you know, you could say, well, if your target was 3,600, uh, where's the next best entry to get into 3,600? Again, you don't have to catch this whole move. You could enter it at this 15 minute RBNR and just scalp it to 3,600. And you'd be surprised you know, what kind of damage you can do there. Um, so key points, just reiterate, have confidence in your setups. Um, just trust yourself, eliminate the noise, meaning trust yourself, listen to you and yourself only. If you take someone else's play and you don't understand it or you're like, oh, that, that looks good, I don't really know why, you're gonna not be consistent in the long run. It is so important to trust your setups because in the end, all you have is yourself and uh, your brain, no one else's brain. So I hope that helped. Um, let me know if you guys have any more questions. Um, I'm happy to do or make more videos if anyone else has any requests. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.